Thinking about dive knives? Let's talk about it. How's it going dive buddies? It is Kyle here and welcome back to the dive wagon. Don't forget to subscribe to this awesome channel. We talk about quick scuba tips, dive site reviews, and all things scuba. If you're into scuba, you definitely don't want to miss out. And today's tip, we're going to be talking about dive knives if you haven't already figured it out. I was cleaning my scuba drawer a week ago and I found these two knives, my two dive knives, and it kind of triggered the question, do I even need these? And then it kind of triggered the next question of why did I get these in the first place and I kind of want to walk you through I thought there might be some valuable information and if I were to buy start over if I were to start kind of into diving again and getting new equipment would I even buy dive knives so let's talk about it so dive knives come in all different shapes and sizes you can get um, big ones huge ones like this you can get medium ones small ones there are knives that have a blunt tip uh, some have sharp tips some have serrated edges some have little you know, hooks to kind of catch lines. Some are titanium, some are stainless steel. The list goes on and on for dive knives. There are tons of different knives out there. So let's talk benefits of dive knives. Well, one of the first benefits that are things that you can do with a dive knife is kind of a fun one. It's kind of a funny one. And I'm gonna bet that any of you out there who have had dive knives have done this with these knives. And that is, especially maybe in Caribbean destinations and stuff like that, when you're on that surface interval and you're just kind of chilling on the boat, knives can come in handy to cut up oranges or other kind of snacks like that and share with all of your dive buddies. And I will admit that that is really all that this dive knife here has done. I bought this way back when in Colombia, and I took it on maybe you know a dozen or so dives and it never came out of its sheath. But when it got back on the surface and we were kind of chilling, drinking water and having some snacks, that this knife would come out and I'd cut up some oranges and split it with my dive buddies. So another benefit of having a knife or is the ability to cut line with it. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but it can come in handy if you get tangled in fishing line or kind of a real line that you've got yourself caught up in. This can be a little bit sketchy depending on where you're diving, especially for me, say I've got a dry suit and I've got a big bulky kind of dry glove, kind of wielding a knife around can be a little bit sketchy, but uh, it can come in handy for that. So let's talk cons of having and using a dive knife. And I think the first one is probably one that's very obvious. It's probably one that you're thinking about in the entire duration of this video as you see me flail this knife around is, Kyle, you could stab yourself with that. And you are 100% correct. I think diving with a massive knife like this, especially when you're, you know, have a dry gloves or a dry suit, just kind of seem super sketchy and a very easy way to stab yourself and puncture a suit or a glove or something like that. And you know, when you're diving and uh, your, just your skin gets super soft and your fingers kind of, you know, it just seems like a very easy way to cut your fingers and you know what happens when that happens. The second con of having a knife is, well, some people might say, that uh, the end of tanks, you know, sometimes they have these hard kind of butts on the end of the tank, that that can be used as a tank banger. The idea of banging your tank with the end of that to notify divers of something. Well, that just seems like a recipe for now stabbing your buddy. So you're reaching back there, you're trying to bang your tank, but little did you know that your diver was right beside you and now you have less of a dive buddy over there. Or you know, you stab your BCD, you reach back there and you're trying to hit your tank. Well, of course, maybe you have a wing BCD or something like that. So it's a little bit wider towards the end and you just reach back there and you've just punctured your BCD. And that obviously is not good. Another con of having a knife is, well, some of these knives are pretty huge and heavy. Not all of them. There are some nice lightweight, small ones out there, but a lot of knives, especially the ones back in the day are heavy. They're big, they're bulky, you know, they, you strap them on your leg, they, you know, a little create drag, that type of thing. They're just not ideal lightweight tools. And my fourth con for having a knife is just my personal thought, and that is you end up being that person. This isn't the Jaws era or anything like that. No green sea monster or creature is going to come from the depths and pull you down. And, you know, having a little knife is going to be able to, you're going to be able to fend yourself off to all these little creatures and uh, save the day type of thing. That's not the reality. All right, Kyle, we get it. You don't really like knives, so stop bashing knives. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. If you want to go get a knife for diving, go out and do it. I'm not even joking when I say that this Winoka knife here was the first piece of equipment that I got back when I got certified. And I could not be happier. Granted, I was 15 and thought I was the coolest dude out there. 
um, which I was obviously. But no jokes aside, if you're gonna get a knife, just go out and get it. My recommendation though, is to get some sort of line cutter. Now these line cutters are cool. They are small, they're lightweight. They are great for cutting through line. They can cut through rope, different types of real line, and they can fit in a pocket. They can fit on your kind of uh, webbing uh, of a weight belt or of your BCD harness. Anywhere really they'll fit, they're streamlined, they're out of the way. You can't cut yourself because of the way that they're designed and it's just a nice, simple, lightweight way to be able to cut fishing line or thin rope or any sort of line that you may come across. I'll also point out that there are like shears out there, like safety scissors or EMT shears that you can get that do exactly the same thing. But depending on where you're diving and how much of a glove you have to wear, using a scissor and having like full mobility sometimes isn't always optimal. And there you have it guys, those are just a few of my thoughts on things to keep in mind while you're on the hunt for a cutting tool or some sort of device to take with you while you're diving, whether that's a knife or uh, shears or some sort of line cutting tool. If you're interested in getting some knives, I'm gonna post a few links in the description below on some smaller kind of nice knives that will work just great for cutting through line as well as cutting up that pineapple when the occasion arises. And if you're interested in these line cutting tools, I'll post a link down below for those as well. Thanks for watching guys. We will see you next time and happy diving. Handy to get yourself out of that. Whoa.